the box has arrived. Your brand new Spectrum Internet self-install kit is sitting on your doorstep and inside it is the key to unlocking a high-speed internet connection for your entire home. You have chosen the self-install option to save yourself the technician installation fee, and now it is time to get your new service up and running. For a person who is not a networking expert, this can feel a little bit intimidating. You open the box, you see two or three different devices, a tangle of different cables, and you're not sure where to even begin. But the great news is that Spectrum has made this process incredibly simple, logical, and user-friendly. In this video, I am going to give you a complete, in-depth, step-by-step guide to the entire Spectrum Internet self-installation process. We will walk you through unboxing your equipment and understanding what each component does. We will do a deep dive into the physical setup, showing you how to find the right coaxial outlet in your home and how to correctly connect the modem, the router, and all the necessary power cables. The core of this tutorial will then be a masterclass on the crucial activation process, showing you how to get online using either the Spectrum app or the dedicated online activation portal. This is the only guide you'll need to get connected without having to pay for a technician. A quick note, this guide is focused on the self-installation process in the United States. Let's begin with our pre-flight checklist. The first step is to open your Spectrum self-install kit and do a quick inventory. Inside the box, you could have two main configurations of equipment. In the first and most common configuration, you will have two separate devices, a Spectrum modem and a Spectrum Wi-Fi router. In the second configuration, you might receive a single combined Wi-Fi gateway which acts as both the modem and the router. For the purpose of this guide, we will primarily focus on the two device setup as it covers all the necessary steps. In addition to the modem and router, you should also have the power cords for both devices, a white coaxial cable, and a yellow or white ethernet cable. The other essential tool you will need for this process is your smartphone or a laptop. You can use the official Spectrum app or a web browser to complete the activation. Okay, you have unboxed your equipment. It is time for the physical setup. The first and most important step of this entire process is to find the right coaxial cable outlet in your home. This is the same type of circular screw-on outlet that you would use for a cable TV box. Now, a crucial point, not all of the coax outlets in your home may be active. You need to find the primary outlet that has the live signal coming into it from the street. The best place to start looking is in a central location in your home, like your living room or your home office. Once you have found your primary coax outlet, the next step is to connect the modem. You will take the white coaxial cable that came in your box. You will screw one end of it, finger tight, onto the coaxial outlet on your wall. You will then take the other end of that cable and you will screw it onto the coaxial input on the back of your spectrum modem. It is the only port that looks like this. Next, you will take the power cord for the modem. You will plug one end into the back of the modem, and you will plug the other end into a nearby electrical outlet. Now, you must power on the modem and wait. The modem will now begin its boot up and connection sequence. This process can take a long time, sometimes up to 5 to 10 minutes, so you must be patient. You will see the status lights on the front of the modem begin to blink and change colors. What is happening in the background is that the modem is scanning for the downstream and the upstream channels and it is trying to lock onto the main spectrum network. You are waiting for the main online or internet light to turn solid green or blue. This solid light is the success signal. It means that the modem has successfully established a stable connection with the Spectrum network and it is now ready to send and receive data. With a solid online light on your modem, it is now time to connect the router. This is very simple. You will take the yellow or white ethernet cable that came in your box. You will plug one end of this ethernet cable into the ethernet port on the back of your modem. There is usually only one of these ports. You will then take the other end of that Ethernet cable and you will plug it into the special WAN port on the back of your Spectrum Wi-Fi router. 
This port is usually colored yellow, or it might be labeled WAN or Internet In. Finally, you will connect the power cord for the router to the back of the router and plug it into a wall outlet. Now, you must power on the router and wait. The router will now begin its boot up sequence. This usually takes just a few minutes. You are waiting for the main status light on the router to turn solid green or blue, indicating that it is powered on and ready to broadcast a Wi-Fi signal. With both the modem and the router powered on and showing solid lights, it is now time for the activation process. There are two primary ways to activate your Spectrum Internet service. The first, and often the easiest, is by using the Spectrum app on your smartphone. You will download the app from your app store and log in with your account credentials. The app will usually detect your new equipment and guide you through an automated activation flow. The second method is to use a web browser on a computer or your smartphone. You will connect your device to the default Wi-Fi network being broadcast by your new router. The Wi-Fi name and password will be printed on a sticker on the router itself. Once connected, you will open your web browser and it should automatically redirect you to the Spectrum Online Activation Portal. If it doesn't, you can manually type in Activate, Spectrum, Net, follow the on-screen prompts. You will need to confirm your account information and the system will send an activation signal to your equipment. This process can take several minutes. During this time, it is crucial that you do not unplug any of your devices. Once the activation is complete, the portal or the app will confirm that your internet service is now active. The final step is to customize your new Wi-Fi network. While your router will broadcast a default Wi-Fi network with a name and password printed on a sticker, it is highly recommended that you change this for security and personalization. From within the Spectrum app or by logging into your router's administration page which can usually be accessed by typing router.spectrum.net into a web browser, you can now change the Wi-Fi name or SSID to something more personal. And, more importantly, you can change the default complex password to a new, strong, and secure password of your own choosing. From within these interfaces, you can also manage other powerful features of your router, like setting up a secure guest network. So, to recap the entire simple self-install process, first, you will connect your modem to a central coax outlet and power. You will then wait for the modem's online light to turn solid. Next, you will connect your router to the modem using an Ethernet cable and plug in its power. You will then use the Spectrum app or the online activation portal to guide you through the automated activation process. Your final step is to customize your Wi-Fi name and password. By following these simple, logical steps, you can successfully self-install your brand new Spectrum Internet service, save yourself the technician fee, and get your entire home connected. If this guide helped you, a like on the video would be fantastic. Subscribe for more in-depth tech guides.